everyone, it's Kara Svens here. Welcome to my blog. In this blog I'm going to be talking about moving into our new bungalow. First I'm going to explain why we've had to move into a bungalow. Um, as a lot of you may know, my husband has seizures on a daily basis. He has falls on a daily basis as well. And he the struggles with the stairs anyway as well because of his severe arthritis and other problems he has as well. Um, it's, it's taken a while to actually convince anybody that he needed somewhere without stairs but we're here now. While we were in the process of moving we tried to get some help we contacted social services, they offered no help at all, which I think is disgusting. And we tried to get a grant, didn't get that either, it's, it's just totally disgusting how everything is at the moment, help wise, there's just no help out there. So yes, it was difficult. Okay. Sorry about this. As a lot of you know, my husband has severe motorability problems. He can't lift things for himself. He can't just clean himself and so on. So the moving or the packing and unpacking and transferring of items was left down to me. As I just said, um, we were offered no help from social services or any other organisations that are meant to help you. <laughs> so the actual moving of stuff was basically left down to me. We did get the more heavier stuff that I could manage moved by um, movers. But obviously this costs money, <laughs> money we don't really have, but we managed to find a company that um, are used to dealing with people on benefits and people that are disabled as well. So they're very good and knew that, you know, what to do. Um, but the actual lighter stuff, like I said, I had to move myself. It was a lot of heavy boxes and I am stronger than I look but it was a big strain on me. Raspberry Talk got very frustrated by seeing me having to move all these heavy boxes. He wanted to help but obviously he can't because of the way he is at the moment and the way he's, he's, you know, his health is. His health is just deteriorating day by day. And yes, he, he found it very frustrating, um, very soul destroying as well. And, you know, I could see this frustrating frustration in him, but I couldn't let him help because he, he can't, he physically cannot help. The money aspect of the move was stupid. We had to scrape together so much money and it, it has left us <laughs> rather broke for the moment. You know, we, ha we have to do um, what we call bargain runs, go into places like Tesco's and look at their bargain meats and their other bargain sections and what bargain food sections I should say and just buy what we can with whatever money we do have at the time which is usually not a lot because as a lot of you would know there's been a lot of um, benefit cuts got this 
stupid bedroom tax thing come in as well. So yes, we are struggling a lot. Um, what else can I say? Um, family couldn't really help either with the move. So someone did offer to help and then they realised they had other commitments. So yeah, we had to fork out more money than we expected. Plus because this is a um, housing association house, um, all the carpets were ripped out so we've had to buy carpets, we've had to, yeah, it, it was um, quite expensive moving here but it is worth it because, you know, I don't have to um, find raspberry talk on the stairs and a seizure which I have done several times in our old place which is not the nicest of thing to, you know, find your partner doing. Okay, I think I've covered everything. I've waffled a little bit and but this is how I am, so for from now on I'm probably gonna do my other blogs by video as well. But for now Bye and take care of each other. Bye.